So this is my son's kitchen, and we're in the process of kind of updating it. Uh, my wife and I have been coming, and we have repainted all these cabinets already, and some of the doors. Uh, it used to be this brown color. We're actually going to do black. And the project for today is this. Um, this cabinet actually was up here temporarily, but I'm going to pull this cabinet down here. We're going to block this whole opening off. This is only about two feet wide. It's too small to be a regular door. And we're going to put cabinets all the way across this wall here. Uh, the challenge we have is, so this is a standard size wall right here. It's about four and a half inches thick. But this one is only about three inches thick. So I have to skim this wall out to be four inches thick so we can carry it across. And that means getting into this countertop here. But fortunately I get all this extra space right here that we can bring that wall out into. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we have the drywall off of this. We're just systematically just demoing this wall and eventually this wall is just gonna go smooth this way. The interesting part is gonna see what kind of cabinet is back behind here and what kind of finish work we need to do. All right, so we got the whole wall down. We got this electrical going right here. And what this is is the power and the switch leg for this light right here. We're gonna move this light over here and then eventually it's gonna be some hanging dangly things. And then we're gonna run another circuit up and put some can lights up here. But what I need to do is get this into this wall so I can put a switch right about there. And then the other thing I have to deal with is this box right here. I gotta put a new box in because as you can see, this wall is only like three inches deep and this box is gonna stick out this side. So I'm gonna cut this out. So let me get this uh, electrical sorted and then we'll move on to start framing this. So quick update, um, we've had to get the electrical sorted before we could start working on that wall. As you can see, I got two switches there and we had to pull everything back down through the wall. And I just wanted to show you something to see how thin this wall, look, the blue box from the other side actually sticks out of the wall. Fortunately, we're gonna fur this out and that'll be inside a wall again. Um, we are in the process of putting in the recessed lighting. And we've got one in already. It's right there. Uh, I'm not going to film that, but if you want to see a video on me, how I put these recessed lights in, I'll be sure to make one for you. Just put it down in the comments. All right, so we got the lights up in here, and wow, what a difference. We moved that light right there over to there. Eventually, there's going to be some dangly lights there. I think I already talked about that. And I am getting ready to frame out this hole now. And once we get that done, we'll throw some drywall up, patch all these holes, and we'll move on to the next part. Okay, I'm done for the night. As you can see, it's dark outside, and I still have to do all this. That's about seven eighths of an inch difference. I don't know if you can see this between this face and this face. And then we realize that out here, we're gonna have to skim this whole wall with drywall just to make it all flush. Um, and the other challenge we're here, I don't know if you can see that. That is not level, okay? There's about a three quarter inch difference between that point and that point and that point and that point way over there. 
So we're going to have to deal with that when we start putting in cabinets. See you in the morning. Well, good morning to you. Daytime the next day. And show you how far I've gotten this morning. So we skimmed this wall with the drywall from the existing opening all the way over. And I gotta say, it's not the straightest, but it's pretty close. I may actually go up there and pull that screw and see if I can shim that out a little bit, just to make it a, that line a little straighter. But it's just, it is what it is. This corner is all out of whack right here. So, but it's generally, it's nice down the wall, smooth. Let's get to the other side. Hey, okay. I've got this all furred out now. So crazy this craziness here. It is about down here. This is five eighths of an inch all the way up to only a quarter inch. So this wall was completely out of plumb by over a half an inch. So we're going to skin this with drywall all the way across to here and then just patch that piece down there. And then we're going to be done with drywall today. So while Trevor's cleaning up, you can see the drywall is all done. And I just need to tape all these joints. The cool part is I don't really have to do like a really good job up in these corners and down this side because that's where the cabinets are going. I just really have to be concerned about how the finish is right through here and then this little corner right there. And then you'll notice this is a corner cabinet that was put in here when that little half wall was there. But eventually I think we're going to put a bar right here. And it's cool because there's water here. They piped this in so you could put the refrigerator here on this wall or actually where it is over here. So we'll put a little wet bar right there and then they have a water source for the coffee. So I'm gonna use Silver Set 40. It's a dry mix uh, to do all the joints here. Um, most people are, ten are tempted to use the pre-mix that comes in the bucket. It's easy for homeowners, but it takes like 24 hours to dry. This sets up in like 20 minutes and I can actually sponge finish it and reduce the sanding and I'll show you. So let me mix this up and get some on the wall. When you're doing corners of new drywall, it's so much easier just to use painter's caulk than to mud and tape the corner. This is definitely the best way to do it. Look at that, all done. Okay. I'm done done as far as I'm concerned. This is still a little wet, you can tell, but it'll be dry in a little while. It's uh, it's that speed set, so silver set, hot mud. Um, it's actually pretty firm already, actually. I can, I can touch it, so. Um, you can see the red, the uh, green laser line. That's from my tack of mine laser right there. Um, that's where the bottom of the cabinets are gonna go, and I had to set a laser line because my ceiling is not level. So we're going to go up from this line and then we'll figure out what we're going to do to keep the ceiling and the top of the cabinets looking a little better. So I'm going to put a ledger board on there and then we're going to start hanging cabinets. Hey, cabinets are up. We're missing the doors for this one. They're still at my house. Um, my wife's painting them today. But we're going to go ahead and texture the walls that are showing. And I'm using this Homax wall spray. And hey, if you haven't seen it, I have a YouTube short on uh, six best ways to use this to get good results. And check that out. I'll have a link right up in here somewhere, probably. All right. Time to put some texture on the walls. 
Okay, as you can see, it's nighttime again, and we're done with our second day. Cabinets are up, wall is textured, and we're starting to clean up in here. Uh, next weekend, doors on here, doors on here, paint this, and then figure out what we're going to do over here. This is something else. We may put a counter here, like I said earlier. We'll see. Okay, so we've got the doors on here. We got this all put in. This looks so much better, doesn't it, with the microwave? 30 inches and up against the walls and everything like that little crooked here we have to actually push this up the ceilings a little wonky right here but as you can see you can move the ceiling and uh, we'll jack that up a little and re-screw it in so it supports the ceiling and squares up a little bit I uh, just need to peel the rest of this off and repaint but I think I'm gonna close this video out out here and just say hey that's what we got done, and then I'll do another video in another couple of weeks or so showing the finished project once we get a chance to trim out the window and do all the painting and stuff. All right. All right, well, I'm painting the cocked corner here, and as you can see, three weeks going now, it still hasn't cracked, and it's nice and crisp. All right. So, I am back for the second phase of this project, and as you can see, we got this all taped up, and we're starting to cut in paint now. I've already got this painted over here. And of course, I've painted my caulked corner, and then I've already done this scribe trim up around here. And as you can see, I mean, it's only about maybe an inch tall there, and it's it'll be if you could see behind the tape, it's about an inch and a half there. But that came out really nice, and once we paint that black, that's going to just blend into nothing, and you won't even catch your eye. Okay, let's get to painting. Okay, so we've got almost a complete coat of paint. We're actually doing a little touch up back here on the new drywall. We got all the trim painted up here. Don't pay attention to the ceiling. That's a whole other day of project. But yeah, we should be done in here probably another 15 or 20 minutes and be able to put this kitchen back together. So we're done for the day. And as you can see, we got all the handles on here. I still got to put a handle on there and these doors. I have these doors at home. The ones we bought to replace the ones that were there are too big. So I'm going to have to cut those down and so they fit. So you're going to get to see that probably. And then on this side, now that we've got the wall clear, we've measured this out and we're going to go find a door that fits here. We're going to put a panel there and then we're going to paint all this. And then up here, this cabinet's coming down. This is a 24 inch. I'm gonna replace it with a 21 inch so that we're back over this way away from the window again. And then we're gonna take this 24 and we're gonna move it way over here. And it's gonna sit right there. And then we're gonna mount that and that. But that's probably gonna be the next video. This is the end of part one. And it'll be probably two or three weeks until part two comes out because I've got to wait for that replacement cabinet. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and you'll get to catch the next video. We'll see you soon.